getting ready to go with mommy to the thrift store? Oh, oh goodness. Welcome to my channel. So on this video, so on this video, I'm gonna be making over my sister's restroom. Also, you guys, I wanted to give a total disclaimer. My sister ended up buying a vanity just because she didn't like the one that was already there. I mean, it had been there forever since I can remember. That was actually my childhood home. Anyways, it had been there, so she wanted to change it out and spruce it up a little bit more. So the thirty dollars definitely. You know, you're, I did not buy the vanity for $30 and all the other stuff. And just so y'all know, it is my first video. So I hope y'all really like it. And I really hope that y'all also like and subscribe, you guys. And hit that notification bell so that every time I do upload a new video, you will be notified. Because I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more of these videos. So let's get into the video. And don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe. So number one stop, the thrift store. I always come here first for any space that I want to freshen up or remodel. Because if I can find it cheaper, I mean, I'll get it. Who wants to spend more than what they have to, right? So you guys, as soon as I walk in and I'm looking around, I find this hug that I'm thinking of using for her hand towels. And then I also found these wood plates, which I think were like for cheese, but either way, I think I'm gonna be using this for her soap dispenser. And this candle holder, which I thought was also pretty cool. What do you think? Should we take it? Hmm? 99 cents. Should we take it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, I take it as a yes. You guys, it's like the heavens opened and I found all these great things. I found this canister and I'm thinking of doing a DIY with it because I really like the texture on the lid. So we'll see what comes out of that. And then I found this Hobby Lobby picture frame for $7.99 and this beautiful table. I mean, it's not the best now, but it will be. So Arabella, Arabella. Oh. Yeah, she is not in the mood to thrift anymore at all. But I did want to show y'all this cool find. I mean, it's $1.99 and it's blue, so it's a dollar today. And it's gonna go perfect in that restroom. And this day, you guys, just kept getting better. I found this ottoman for 25 bucks. And I'm planning to use it for my sister's living room makeover. Arabella, ya vámonos. Di adios. Bye. Adios. <laughs> well, you guys, that's it for this thrift haul. I actually found a lot of cool items. I mean, I have my work cut out with this little table. But other than that, I found everything that I basically just need to put up. So, thank you. Goodwill. So we went to the Home Depot first, but like that guy, we were out of there because my sister didn't find anything that she really liked. And we just had to stop at the clearance section just to kind of glance and see if maybe there was something for us. And then after like 30, 40 minutes of looking, we thought we had found the one, but guess what? She didn't like it. I think somebody was cleaning. Then after what it seemed like forever, we actually found the vanity and we had actually already gone through there. Anyways, it came with this mirror. It was only $199 and guess what? The top of this was actually marble. You excited? 
Wow. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just choosing the light fixture and I always recommend that you do this at the very end just because they don't have many options with the vanity. So you want something that's going to match your vanity. So get the vanity first and then your light fixture. And then this is going to be the wrap for this day. Tomorrow is the big day when we actually get to do the fun part in my opinion. So yeah, let's get home. clear out the restroom so let's get to it now I'm just going to paint the back where the old mirror was with the paint that my sister had already used on the rest of the restroom and that color is called cake pop which I love So the holes on the wall I already filled but I ended up using the wrong thing. Either way it ended up working so let's just move on. So here you guys, we're just going to uninstall the sink. I'm just showing you that I'm going to turn off the water. I'm going to unscrew the pipe and I did put that bucket down there so that the drainage could go through but it's pretty simple to remove a sink so let's get into it. Now that the water's turned off and I already got the bottom removed, I'm just going to take these off as well so that it can free up the top of the sink. And to remove the bottom cabinet, the actual part where the sink sits on, I mean, it just had these two screws. So I just removed those and got the sink out, or what is the no, the cabinet out. I got the cabinet out. And adios, ugly vanity. So we're gonna take a little break because someone is grouchy. Bueno, so we took the break, a long break actually, y todavía no se quiere. <laughs> todavía she wants to be with me. So I'm gonna try and do what I can with her here. And yeah, so let's keep going. ¿Verdad? Sí? No toques la basura. As soon as we installed the sink or tried to install it, I ran into this problem. The plumbing, it will not let the drawer close. So I'm going to have to cut right there where you see those two little black marks. And I'm going to cut in about four inches. That's about as much as we needed in order for it to close all the way through. So I'm going to do that and I will show you here in a little bit. I ended up having to change my 
tactic on the utility knife just because it wasn't really working for this top part which is more like a wood thing anyways I used this little kitchen knife as my handsaw I also ended up taking off this piece just to make my life easier. I'm going to be using the E6000 just to place on the side to glue it back in there. As you can see, it already has the nails. I just kind of took it off. And then I'm going to be cleaning it up with some white paint that I actually got from Valspar. Actually from Home Depot, it's Valspar. And I got it in the clearance section a long, long time ago. So this was it for this day, you guys, because it ended up getting pretty late on us. So I will see you all on the next day. All right guys, so don't forget your mask first of all, and second of all, let's get into sanding. The joy of my heart not. I hate sanding, but here we are sanding down this little table that I got, remember, at the thrift store. I'm going to put the E6000 on the legs just because it was kind of wobbly, as you can probably see me moving the leg around. I ended up also having to use some hot glue, which you will see here in a little bit. Um, just because the E6000 does take a little longer to set, so I wanted the hot glue to actually push it in there, you know, and hold it while the E6000 dries up. Now I'm just going to finish sanding the top of the wood. I like the way raw wood looks, so I'm going to leave it this color. And also on the sides, I'm going to give it a light sanding because it has like these little grooves, which you will see here in the next clip, right there. And I actually like the way that the white paint stayed in there. It kind of gives it like that vintage vibe. And then on the legs, I'm just going to go over it lightly since they are going to be painted white. painting this you guys I mean even a two-year-old can do this I'm gonna go ahead and use that same Valspar um, paint that I used to touch up the vanity I'm just gonna do the legs as I said before um, because I want that two-tone look I want the raw wood on top and the nice crisp look on the bottom so let's finish painting so we can move on to the next DIYs So for those edges guys that are kind of raw, I didn't bring anything to seal it so I thought glue gun. So I went ahead and put some on there, I wiped it off clean and then I put some paint and little did you know, it worked out just fine. Now for the top, I'm going to use this gloss clear coat that I got from the Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to give it a little spray through just in case she gets any water on top of it so it kind of protects it a little. So we'll put that and then it's done. Now I'm going to spray paint this trash can in brush metallic gold, which my sister already has, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse that. Also, you guys, I wanted to share some words of encouragement to anyone who is seeing this. I just wanna let you know that you are worthy, you are beautiful, and overall, you are loved by God. I'm also going to be spray painting this knob that I actually took off from my sister's new vanity since I did buy her some new ones at the Hobby Lobby with that same metallic gold from the trash can. Now for our next DIY, I'm going to be using some burlap, hot glue, scissors, the old knob, and the canister we got from the thrift store. First of all, I'm going to measure the burlap. 
So right here, I was about to make the mistake of cutting too little. Always make sure you have enough fabric, you guys. It's better to cut off more than not have enough. Now we're gonna be hot gluing the burlap onto the canister and make sure that you put the hot glue all the way throughout, not just on each end because then it's just gonna be moving and shifting around and we want the burlap to really be on there nicely. And also let's make sure we hot glue the top part of it, kind of tuck it in so that whenever you do put the lid on there, it has a nice finish to it. And we're gonna go ahead and do that to the bottom as well. the knob I'm gonna go ahead and use E6000 I mean you guys I use this glue for everything it is so durable once it dries I mean it dries and it will stay on there for everything that I've used at least so we'll just go ahead and let it dry and then we can start on this next project so now we're gonna be making a hanging lantern, which I lost the video clip to where I actually cut the rope. You usually just cut the rope into equal lengths. You make a knot at the top when the rope is actually folded in half. And then at the very bottom, I just make another knot so that I can hold the pot or whatever you're gonna be using. In this case, I use this little glass globe looking like thing. I'm going to be hot gluing the rope onto the globe just to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't shift around whenever we do put the plant in there. And there you have it, you guys, a DIY hanging planter. Finally, you guys, my favorite, most favorite part is to put everything together. So I'm gonna be hanging up the picture frame right next to her door. I'm using these little hooks that I actually got at the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to be replacing the little cap to the light switch. I got this cap at Home Depot for only $2.99. Now I'm going to be placing a hook to put that lantern that we DIY'd up on there. Um, make sure to measure just to see where you actually want this. I also braided the bottom. I thought it would add a little bit of flair. This curtain is actually, or used to be mine. It was just a little too white for my restroom, so I went ahead and gave this to my sister. Also, I had previously gone to Hobby Lobby and I found this. It is so cute and it was only $1.75 in the clearance section. I also got these knobs. These were $5.99 I believe each, but I used my 40% off coupon. And then I also brought some stuff that I already had at home. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish styling the restroom.
Well, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making this or doing this makeover. Um, you guys, I also wanted to let you know that I did put the trash can. It's actually behind the toilet. I just didn't get to um, put it in the video. I'm so sorry about that. Also, you guys, I did not put shelves in this restroom. I know it's small, but she has this closet that's actually next to the restroom that has a ton of storage. So I just want to let y'all know. And you guys, I hope that y'all can subscribe and like my video. It would really help me out so, so much. And once again, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see y'all on the next one.